Hi everyone, so this is my charm collection, charm slash creations collection, so um, this is also my very first video, so I'm super excited. Um, so I'm going to be basically just showing you guys everything that's in this box. This isn't everything I've made, I mean obviously I've sold some stuff and given them away to friends and stuff like that. And also, I have another box which has my old charms and just like fail charms, which at some point maybe I'll do a video on that if you guys want me to. But this video is just going to be on these charms, and in my opinion, these are like the best charms, but there is some pretty bad charms in there. But anyways, so if you're also wondering about the box, um, I got it at Walmart. It looks like this. It has these two little flaps that you open up and then the box opens. I really love this. And if you're wondering, you could get this at Walmart at the, like, fishing sections because it's, like, meant for, like, fish tools and stuff like that for fishing hooks. I'm not really sure. Um, so... Yeah, and I'm really sorry if you hear any background noise. My brother is playing with my dogs. So, anyways, let's just get started. So, the first section is my Disney section. I absolutely love Disney. So, and if I forget to give credit to anybody, I'm really, really sorry. So, just comment down below and I'll put, like, an annotation if I forget anyone. First term I have is this Minnie Mouse lollipop. I have Pluto from Mickey Mouse. And this is inspired by Forest Craft. I have the old-fashioned Mickey and Minnie, inspired by uh, Crafty Olivia, and I can make tutorials on these because they're really fun and easy to make. Next, I have three charms inspired by little surprises. So I have this Rapunzel charm. I have this Dangly, Pin oops, Dangly Pinocchio charm with blue eyes, and the Rapunzel has green eyes, and this um, Little Red Riding Hood with brown eyes. Um, then I have a little um, stitch set. Um, the style for these is inspired by Q Tampopo. So I have this scrump, Lilo, and Stitch. And next, inspired by an Etsy picture that I saw, I made Shrek and Fiona. They're like chibi forms, so they're not supposed to be realistic or anything, but I think they turn out pretty cute. Sorry if I say cute more than 20 times in this video. Um, then I have Carl Fredrickson from Up, inspired by Savannah's Clay Creations. I have this Chip from Beauty and the Beast. I have a the little Cheshire Cat. Um, Little Mermaid. A Baby Winnie the Pooh. Um... Mr. Potato Head Charm, inspired by Soulcraftastic. I absolutely love this. I love Toy Story, so I love any Disney movie. Um, this baby, um, Perry the Platypus, from Vidious and Ferb. This is inspired by an Etsy, I mean not Etsy, a Deviant Art picture. It's Little Doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. Um, this Stitch, I mean not Stitch, um, Mickey Mouse Steak. And this Mickey Mouse Icing Bag. And then, lastly, for that section is this sour bill from the new movie Wreck It Ralph. Oops. All right. So that's my Disney um, charms. Okay. The next set of charms I have is my animals. So I really love animals. Sorry if I say that. Like I, I, I love like animals. So yeah. Anyways, I have this little dragon, and this is inspired by a Nancy picture. This dog, inspired by Cute Tampopo. This squirrel, inspired by Rose Jackson. An alpaca charm, inspired by Funky Pink Gal. This really cute bear, inspired by somebody on YouTube, but I really can't remember the name. Um, this Boston Terrier dog, inspired by Crafty Olivia. This really cute giraffe, inspired by Pudding Fish Cakes. Um, I have this really cute octopus charm. Um, I have, oh, I'll show those last, um, this hedgehog, and this piggy, it's really cute, um, this jellyfish charm inspired by Katrin Kawai, um, I have this jellyfish, um, and it has, like, swirl at the top of my camera, doesn't really pick it up, and this is inspired by jellyfish charms, I have this starfish, and it's glow in the dark, and this is inspired by Super Creative Crafts, this baby chick, this snowman, inspired by Kawaii Sweet World, 
I have this fox and this penguin, both inspired by Lilac Sprinkles. I absolutely love her videos. And these are both pasteled. And she made a tutorial for this one, and I'm not sure if she made a tutorial for this one. I think she did, but I'm not really sure. But she's amazing, so go check her out. Go check everybody that I mentioned in this video, because they they all deserve, like, yeah. Alright, so this is a little hamster. I have this seahorse charm. Seahorse charm, inspired by Crafty Olivia. This uh, crab in a little um, shell, inspired by Dai Kawai. I did not make the shell, by the way. This um, reindeer, this um, whale, and orcas are my favorite animal, but I know this isn't an orca. It's just a regular whale. I have this little panda bear. Um, oh, and then I have a little mouse family, and Sandox Charms has a tutorial for this, so check it out. I have the um, mom, the dad, and the little baby. So, those are really cute. And I have this frog on a mushroom inspired by Pudding Fish Cakes. This is a really cute koala. Oh, I dropped it. Um, this Christmas pan um yeah polar bear inspired by Kawaii Sweet World. This cat inspired by Onumbers Ten. This oh my goodness I dropped it again. Um, this um little Bigfoot inspired by Kawaii Sweet World. I mean not Kawaii Sweet World. Um, Super Creative Crafts. This dwarf hamster, and it's, like, shaded on the back. Inspired by Funky Pink Gal. I have two of these pug charms. I saw a tutorial here on YouTube, and hers turned out so well, but mine turned out really bad. Um, I have this really cute piggy. It's really small. This crab. Oh, my goodness. I dropped it again. Crab. And this really adorable bunny all right so the next category is like other famous characters other than disney so okay so first one is Gigi from kiki's delivery system or yeah um chewbacca charm inspired by crafty olivia and Gigi is inspired by cute tempopo i have this hello kitty snowman inspired by i have a cupcake I have this um, Chubby Mamagoma, the Nine Cat, Donatella, and I made a latte. And these are both from Toki Doki, I think. Um, this really cute ghost. I have the uh, five One Direction members. And if I can find them all, um, that would be great. Um, okay, I can't. Okay, so I have a Zane, Harry, Niall, Louie, and Liam. And then I have Berry Puppy holding a strawberry, Rillakuma, Cookie Monster with holding a cookie. I have the Angry Bird and the Angry Pig. I have this Kirby charm, um, Santa Claus, this Mario shell inspired by cute Tampopo. I have this really, really cute reindeer. This is one of my favorite charms. I absolutely love how this turned out. This is inspired by um, Jellyfish charms. I have this Grinch inspired by an Etsy picture. Kajimin Rin, I think her name is, and it's inspired by Crafty Olivia. I have the, like, these are, like, four Sanix characters, I think, and I'm really, I don't know their names, so I'm really sorry, because I don't watch Sanix, but I just thought they were cute, so I decided to make them. I'm just gonna say what animals they are, or what I think they are. So, this one's a polar bear, I think. This Pomeranian, or cat, but I think it's a Pomeranian. This penguin. And this mole, and I think the mole turned out so cute. I think it turned out the best out of all four of them. Next, I have this edamame bean, I think. Um, Curatory. And this really, really, I love this charm. It's a leprechaun inspired by Miss Watermelon Kiss, and I just love it. It's so small. So, yeah, I really, really love that charm. Julius, or Paul Frank. This Totoro. 
inspired by Crafty Olivia. This Mario bomb. A Yoga Gabba, Yo Gabba Gabba character and that I'm going to give to my neighbor's son because he's like two and he loves Yo Gabba Gabba. And this Mario shell. I mean, Mario um, mushroom. Then the rest of these terms are all Adventure Time characters. So first one I have is Princess Bubblegum, which the little thing at the top fell off, but it's still pretty cute. Jake the dog, I love this charm. It's really cute. Um, Fiona, I really like how she turned out as well. The flame princess, but she got a little smeared right here because the paint wasn't dry and I messed around with it. Marceline. Um, LPS, or, yeah, little, um, I think it's like grump, I forget, just lumpy space princess, okay. LSP, not LPS, LSP, um, um, then I have these two fin charms. This was my old, oh my goodness, I dropped it. And yeah, of course I dropped it. This is my old one, and this is my new one, but I like my old one better. I don't know why. And I followed Funky Pink Gal's tutorial to make that one. Alright, so. Um, that is, I'm just gonna stop this video here, and this is gonna be part one, because I don't want to make it any longer. Part two is probably gonna be a little bit longer than this video, because I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster, um, and get through more stuff. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys watched part two, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!